this morning on my morning rounds, I noticed Cleo was in the process of shedding her skin. But she seemed to be having some difficulty doing that. Snakes shed their skin as they grow. So when they're small, they will shed more often. As they get to Cleo's size, she probably sheds at the moment around once every six weeks or so. So when a snake sheds its skin, if there's a little bit of an issue there, or perhaps the environment is a little more dry than usual, they may seek out water to help peel that old skin off. We will give her a nice warm bath. We'll let her soak in that, and hopefully the skin will then very easily be able to be removed. Do you want to just check the temperature of that water before we yep. pop her in? Yep, perfect, 28. We're going to just guide her in with as least yep. disturbance to her as possible. Just pop her through and she... She should hopefully just slide straight in. Yeah, without... goodo, without too much. All right. Reticulated pythons are native to Southeast Asia. They're relatively common, but they are at threat these days, particularly due to capturing either for the pet trade, but especially for the skin trade. When a snake sheds, it's a pretty amazing process. But if there's an issue, and a piece gets stuck on, and the next time the snake sheds, it'll hit that little bumpy section and another piece will get stuck. And then that will build up over time. Bacteria can get in there and then you have issues. Good girl. She's such a darling. The reason she's had trouble shedding, in winter, the air gets a lot drier. This can affect when they're going through shedding processes um, if the humidity is not quite high enough during that period. If it doesn't come off, it can lead to progressive problems. It can be bacteria that will take hold or fungal elements as well. So we need to make sure she gets all of this skin off this time round. So if you want to pop that over there. Yeah, all right, sweetheart. Yeah, I know. I know she's oh, usually a sweetheart, but just be mindful, hey. Good girl. You're all right. The skin shed is starting to lift, but it needs really a little bit more time. And rather than really get her grumpy now, <laughs> we'll, um, we'll let her sit for a little bit longer, for probably another half an hour, and come back and reassess at that point. So if that doesn't work soaking in this tub, we'll need to use something a little bit more abrasive. Worst case scenario, we might need to even use a scrubbing brush or something a bit harsher to get the skin off. Come on in, guys. Cleo is really having some trouble getting this skin off. Quite clearly, we're going to have to assist her, so we're going to get Sam in to get her advice as well. We've had her soaking since this morning. Yep. Um, but some of those areas are really seem to be adhered on, so yep. we're not sure if there might be an underlying issue there. We're 99% sure that we're going to have to restrain yeah, her sure, to get okay. the shed off. You're all good? We're happy. Yep. The main concern really is that despite all of this soaking, she's still got um, a lot of retained skin along the top of her body. I think the priority is to get the yeah. skin off. We absolutely need to get that off at this stage now because it will start to cause her some problems underneath there. Hunter, you've got the head. Yep. So whatever you do, do not let that go. That's the way. Beautiful. That's why we brought Perfect. it. Perfect. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. <laughs> nice and gentle. It's all right. She's good. She is so incredibly strong. It's taking, what, five of us potentially to hold her down. Yeah, I just don't think there was any way we were getting this off without um, no. grabbing her. It's yeah. coming off, it's coming off. We have to be very careful when we're peeling this skin off because the scales underneath are a little bit more sensitive than usual and we just need to make sure that we don't cause too much trauma. Yeah, I know, sweetie. Yeah. The scrubbing brushes we're using are extremely soft, but it gives us a little more abrasion to help get that skin off, but it doesn't hurt her.
Jess is just going to touch the eye. About to check to see if she's got a retained spectacle. Sorry, honey. Oh, all good. Be close, sweetheart. Be close. Be close, guys. OK, just got this very small but stubborn area left. It all has to come off, one way or another. This is not a process that we want to go through again and again. If we don't do a thorough job this time, the likelihood is it will happen again. Her skin's actually looking pretty good and has improved already. One, two, three. Good girl. Just to be on the extra safe side, we're going to keep her at an elevated temperature overnight and we can have a good look at her in the morning as well. Yesterday, we gave Cleo a hand to shed her skin. This morning, Dr Sam will give her a visual check and all going well, she'll end up back in and on display very shortly. Morning. Howdy. How are we going? Good, how are good. you? Good. I'm keen to see how Cleo looks. So I'm just doing, doing a close examination of the dorsal surface of her body where the majority of those scales were retained. It's already out. No worries. So we'll stick it straight over that one. She looks great at first she glance. Does, that yeah. inflammation's definitely subsided. So that's fantastic. I'm really happy with how it's looking. And those sensitive scales uh, where we removed all that retained slough from, they're looking really healthy. So I'm really pleased with how she's looking and more than happy for her to go back on display. OK. Oh. Gee, she just looks absolutely fantastic. And yep. she's nice and strong and, and still quite yeah. chilled. So yeah, yeah, yeah. really pleased. Probably been the biggest thing that has changed people's minds about snakes is the ability to come into Australia Zoo and learn that snakes aren't an evil, ugly monster. And the only reason that's changed is because of the incredible work that Steve's done and Terry and the kids in Australia Zoo and all the other great places out there where people can learn about reptiles. She looks awesome, doesn't she? Nice and shiny. Cleo is now looking shiny and brand new. She's headed to snuggle back up. Fantastic to have her back in her home. All right, let's leave her be.